Get, get, get. Requiring. That's a cool book, though. Is it? Mm. Requiring. The purpose driven life. Purpose driven life. What's up? This is your boy Pete. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Peter. But I didn't speak here. One moment. Hey, almost got you there. To Pamba or Is this live in there? Okay. Hey everyone, this is uh, Pietrus here from Spirit Word here in Stolfontein and we are in winter now. So yeah. Or we're getting closer to winter. Um, yo. Yeah. I'm excited and then terrified at the same time because when <laughs> July comes, yo, we're going to hit minus and I'm not ready for minuses. Yeah. Minuses are horrible. Yeah. But God has been good. I trust that God has been good to you as well because He is a good God. Amen. He cannot be anything else Amen. than good. And Amen. from now on, we're just going to share a bit about what happens here and what we're doing and just share on the, the word that's going out because I believe it's important to recap on the word that goes out. Sometimes, uh, not sometimes, most of the times, when Jesus talks about the seed and the sower, he, he says the seed is the word of God and mm. it falls on s different grounds. Yes. But our, the ground is us. Yes. We need to make sure that we are fruitful ground. How can we be fruitful ground? We keep on meditating on the word, yes. keep on going through the word because we need to have the word implanted into us yes. in order to bring forth the harvest of the word. So I'm excited um, and quite, not quite, lately. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is real. It's a Friday morning. Trust you are well in your house. I, start, I started off hot, but it's getting cold as we are as we are speaking. <laughs> but um, on Sunday, I brought a message on there's no second place in the kingdom. Yes. And uh, so many times in our lives, uh, the whole thing about uh, people trying to be first, everyone always has, wants to be top rank. And yes. we find it in the church world. We have all these prophets and papas and apostles. Mm. Everyone wants to be above someone else. They want to have servants. They want to have people underneath them. Yeah. But in Matthew 18, this is where I started off. Matthew 18, it says, At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Yeah. And Jesus called the little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and said, I say unto you, except you be converted and become as little children, mm -hmm. you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> our media team uh, made a poster of that <laughs> for the week <laughs> and they, they so used my little boy's <laughs> face, uh, Seth. So I was like, yes, if everyone is like Seth, this world is in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my boy is busy. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love my boy. But, um, it says here, very last sentence here, except you be converted and become like little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. That just takes me back to the first verse mm. where they ask, who shall be the greatest? Yeah. And the disciples ask Jesus, I mean, who's going to be that one? <laughs> who's the one just after you? Yeah. That's all they're aiming for. They want to yeah. be somewhere, something in the kingdom. Yeah. Jesus answers them and it says, except you become, mm. you converted and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. And it just hits me. Mm. The kingdom is not about ranking. It's not about mm. position. It's not about what I'm going to be when I'm in the kingdom. Yeah. It is about, if we understand the kingdom, uh, Jesus over and over says, mm. the Son of God came not to be served, mm. but to serve. And just thinking of when he washes the disciples' feet. Yeah. He si uh, it's Peter, no? <laughs> Peter. Peter. It's always Peter. <laughs> it's always Peter. <laughs> oh, Peter, what a guy. <laughs> um, Peter says, no, Lord, I'm not worthy. A and Jesus says to him, if I do not do this to you, you have no place yeah. in me, yes. in the kingdom. And he yeah. says, Lord, not only my feet, but my whole body. <laughs> so Peter, I mean, yeah, <laughs> he, he sees things, but he also sees things differently. Yes. And Jesus says, don't worry. Mm. If, you sh if, you're, if your feet clean, yeah. your whole body is washed. Exactly. But he carries on. Whosoever shall humble himself as a little child, the mm. same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And who shall receive one such little child in my name receives me. But whoso offend mm. one of these little ones which believe in me is better for him that a milestone be hanged around his neck and that he would drown in the depth of the sea. Yeah. Wow. 
So when I look at that, if we look at our little children today, mm. it is, um, I mean, they, they forgive you so easily. Mm. I mean, today you can do something horrible, but tomorrow mm. they've completely forgotten about it yeah. and they're open to forgive and they're open to trust, yeah. even if you've broken their trust yeah. so many times. Mm. And I believe that's what God says, is like, how do we treat one another? Mm. If we want to enter into the kingdom, mm. uh, it's not about ranking, it's not about where I'm going to be one day yeah. when I'm there. That's, uh, the kingdom is a completely different ballgame. Yeah is what do we do to one another over here? Oh, so yeah. that's where it comes from, placement versus entrance. Yeah. So many times uh, people fight about the placement sure. of trying to be something in the kingdom, mm. but we cannot try to be something in the kingdom. All we need to do is just enter in, because yeah. when we are there, I mean, everything changes. Yes. And then, um, yes, we went to Matthew 16. Matthew 16 is uh, uh, Jesus gives Peter the keys of the kingdom, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this is a, this is an interesting <laughs> verse 13. Who do men say that I am, the Son of Man am? And Peter says to him, uh, they say, You are John the Baptist, some Eliam, mm. Jeremiah, or the other prophets. And he said unto them, But who mm. do you say that I am? Yeah. And Simon Peter answered and said unto him, You are Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto you, mm. but by my Father which is in heaven. Mm. And I say unto you that you, Peter, upon this rock, yeah. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Mm. And I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. And whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever mm. you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Yeah. So. Peter gets the revelation that he is the Son of God. Of God. Yes. And he says, flesh and blood has not revealed yeah. this to you. Yeah. And then he says, because this has been revealed to you, because the Father has yes. revealed them, yeah, I give you the, the keys. keys. Yes. And what happens in the next verse? Sure. <laughs> yeah, then you completely missed it. <laughs> and then Jesus tells them, this is going to happen. And uh, Peter said, ah, no, Lord, <laughs> let me rebuke it. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, my power. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I've got the keys now. <laughs> let's, let's close that door. Yeah. And Jesus says unto him, Get behind me, Satan, mm. for you are an offense unto me. Yeah. For you savor not the things of God, mm. but the things that be of man. Now, yeah. this is very important because the next, the next part, it carries on and on. Mm. But the keys of the kingdom is for unlocking and locking. Yeah. And then the next part, uh, I think it is... Uh, Chapter 18, yeah, it's chapter mm. 18. Okay, chapter 18 was amazing. The same disciples came to him saying, who is the greatest kingdom of heaven? That's what mm. we just did. Yeah. And then going to verse 18, he says, Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Yeah. So two chapters back, Jesus gives him the keys. keys. And yes. then again, he says he the same it. thing. Yeah, he yeah. says, Whosoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall be loosed on earth mm. will be loosed in heaven. Mm. And again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on anything as touching anything that they shall ask, yes. anything, it mm. shall be done to them of my Father yes. which is in heaven. Yes. For where two or three are to gather together in my name, yes. I am there in the midst, in the midst of them. So when That's we are beautiful. when we agree together, mm. he is there. When the Father is there, I mean, mm. the whole thing is about operating through the kingdom. We mm. have to uh, lose things. We have to bind things. But yes. I think Peter, when he stepped out, mm. he, he had the keys. So <laughs> now I have <laughs> the keys. <laughs> now I can do this. <laughs> And uh, he operates out of himself. There's no yeah. agreement around no, anything. No, you don't. Yeah. You don't read about Peter agreeing uh, with anybody. Uh, say, L let me go to John. John, <laughs> <laughs> let's quickly do this thing. Yeah. Um, and Jesus says no, mm. because the kingdom is never singular. It's never singular. The kingdom can never be done by one person. Yes. There has to be an agreement because yes. the Father and the Son cannot be separated. Yes. The Father and the Holy Spirit cannot be separated. These things are, are unity. So the kingdom is unity. It is one thing. Mm. The kingdom is not a position. It is about production. Yes. It's not a place that we're going to be one day and say, yes, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur is now a general, <laughs> the archbishop <laughs> of the kingdom. No, yeah, no. Yeah. When we step into the kingdom, we are Christ. Yeah. Uh, that is, that I think that is the revelation for me. Is mm. It's not about ranking. It's not about me.
Yeah. It's not what my name is going to mean one day that I've done this. It is going to be what Christ what has done. He's done, yes. And what I can do through him. Because, yes. I mean, over and over, the word says that through his strength, we can do all things. Yes. I mean, we are quickened through his spirit. Mm. Everything that we have, we yes. owe to him. Yes. Uh, and that's just... And that was the message for Sunday. Sure. It's like there's no second place in the kingdom. Yeah, no second place. <laughs> it's something, yeah, do you want to share something? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's also, it's amazing, like, um, the, the, the Sunday service, uh, like how it, everything now comes together. Because we, when we read uh, in the mornings, uh, and then you, you get, uh, we, when we read um, chapter by chapter, we get things that, okay, this means that. And then you, you refer it to the previous chapter, like, oh, yeah, actually, yeah. it's like, it gets together. So uh, it's, it's interesting that uh, Peter is... Uh, <laughs> and, and it's so funny, because if you read throughout uh, Ma uh, Matthew, you find Peter, he's the guy who wants to know, and he's, although he misses it, he comes and yeah. he wants to know. And, and I think that's, um, a, a, as Christians today, we, we need to understand that, you know, if God says... I have done this for you. Yeah. Let us not take it now to say, ah, uh, now we can run it on our way. That's why I, I think we find nowadays there's um, uh, different uh, churches and denominations and, and the thing you were saying that people now want to compete for the first place. If somebody gets a revelation about a certain thing and then the other person now wants, okay, I know more and, and then he yeah. leaves the, <laughs> the rest. And then, but we should be the body as Christ says. Um, uh, we, sh we are the body, and, and if the body is not in unity, yeah. then there is no function. Yeah. So as churches, uh, I think we, sh we need to like come together, and, and, and because it's one Christ, one gospel. Yes. And then that agreement, if we agree on something, and then mm. they sh we see the power. Yeah. yeah. A house divided against itself cannot stand. Yeah. And uh, it, it makes me think, um, when you were speaking now, mm. <laughs> Uh, we cannot, th there's no, um, there's no two Gospels, there's one mm. Gospel. Mm. Uh, while we are talking about this, uh, we've been, we've been going through as an office, we've yeah. been reading, um, we have different books that we read throughout the year, yeah. and we read a chapter a day, and yes. after the chapter, we have a discussion on the chapter, and yes. so many things are revealed, yes. like revelations that, oh. I, <laughs> I mean, Matthew 18, I've probably read it a thousand times in yeah. my life. But then sitting in the morning together as a group, group. corporate, yes. and reading that, it's that, that fresh bread that's yes. being revealed. Yes. And it makes me think the revelation of God cannot be exhausted. Never. So if revelation cannot be exhausted, mm. how can one revelation be this, this particular thing. group's yes. thing? Yeah. So the only thing that can be the thing is Christ it's himself. Christ, yeah. Because the revelations, are the, they're never, they're never going to end. It's progressive. For yes. 2,000 years, <laughs> people have been reading this book, <laughs> and they're bringing out new doctrines as we are speaking right now. So that is not the end. Yeah. The doctrine is not the main thing. The main thing is the goal, the yes, kingdom. The and kingdom. lately we've been, over the past couple of weeks, I yeah. think it's months already, Yeah. Uh, you can go on to the videos, on, it's on YouTube, it's on Facebook. Yeah. We've been speaking about the kingdom. Yes. And I believe God is revealing things about the kingdom that's needed in this time right now. Because yes. this is the time for the people of God to understand who they are and yeah. why they are there for a specific reason. reason. And that is for the kingdom mm. to be made manifest. manifest yes. We need to enter into the kingdom mm. so we can bring the kingdom to the people around us. Yes. Because Jesus, from the beginning, Matthew 1, he says... Mm. From that time on, before before he even stood up and preached the the blessed, yes. which is was his first sermon. Yes, I think <laughs> it was Matthew six or five. Uh, Matthew, yeah. Matthew yeah, it was Matthew five. five. Yeah. Just before that, mm. he says Jesus went out preaching the king. Repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yeah. The next piece, he stands up and he says, "Blessed." blessed That's his yeah. first sermon. Yeah. So from that time on until he was crucified, what did he do? Mm. He preached the kingdom. The kingdom. So what what do we preach today? Sure. If we have revelation about what, it's the, it should be of the kingdom. Yeah. Of the kingdom, because yeah. we are here for that for one purpose. I mean, he says it there when he says, "Who do you think I am?" <laughs> and then he says, uh, "You are the Son of God." He says, "Flesh and blood didn't reveal this to you." Yeah. So blessed are you, because the kingdom, uh, God Himself has revealed to you. Yes. And and and. After that, like you said, he goes and then he wants to now do this thing. He says, no, Jesus, you don't have to. Now it's, it's against the purposes of God. Mm. And, and so 
which means um, we have to be always be led by the Spirit. Yes. I yes. mean, there's so many scriptures that mm. speaks about us being led by the Spirit. And, and that, that is the kingdom. Because the moment you start operating out of your own ways of thinking, you're already out of... I mean, we, 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 read, your, we read a lot of <laughs> stuff. These, these Pharisees always wanted to bring back the, the things of God. Yeah. They want to put it into yeah. something tangible or yeah. the, the things they understand uh, fleshly. And, and you can because it's the kingdom. Sure. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. And then one thing we touched on is uh, in verse 19, mm. chapter 19, at the end, uh, I love this part, is where Peter asked Jesus, so we have given up everything. This is after <laughs> yeah. he, he touched on, uh, <laughs> it's hard for a rich man to enter into the kingdom. Yeah. And the disciples, when they heard it, <laughs> they were exceedingly amazed, saying, <laughs> who then can be saved? Yeah. <laughs> but Jesus beheld them and said unto them, with men this is impossible, possible. but with God yes. all things are possible. Yeah. And I have a thing that to save even the rich, yeah. because it yes. is, it's not giving up everything that yeah. we have. Yes. It is putting our focus on Him, on he, yes. because He wants us to be rich. He wants us yes. to be profitable. Yes. But then Peter said, Behold, we have forsaken all things, follow thee, what mm. shall we have therefore? And Jesus said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, mm. that he which follows me in this generation, the Son of Man, shall sit on the twelve throne of his glory, mm. and you shall sit on the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Yes. And everyone has forsaken house, brethren, sister, father, mother, wife, children, lands, for my sake shall yeah. receive a hundredfold, mm. and shall inherit everlasting life. Yes. But that our first shall be last and the last shall be, be first. first. Uh, ah. We're going to touch on this uh, <laughs> in the next video yes. <laughs> because uh, I've, I've never understood the first and the last in such a sense, but mm. yeah, I'm going to leave it there because that's, that's, <laughs> a, whole, that's a whole different, yes. that's a whole different <laughs> subject. Yeah. So be ready for that. Look out for that one. Yes. But then the next, the next part. Remember when the uh, uh, the mother of James and John yeah. is like, "Oh Lord, <laughs> let let my let son my <laughs> sit next to you." Yeah. Yet again, looking for position. They missed it's it. Not a position. Yes. Uh, what happens there? He says, "Man, are you are you willing to drink the cup?" And they say, "Yes." Yeah. Like, wow. Mm. That's that's a crazy statement. Yeah. That's a crazy statement. And then I ended off in chapter twenty-three. Mm. When Jesus said to the, mul uh, to the multitudes and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in the seat of Moses. Yeah. Therefore, whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe do, but do not after their works, for they yeah. say and do not do. do yeah. They bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, lay on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with a f one finger. Sure. So I did a bit of research on the seat of Moses, and yeah. the seat of Moses is an actual seat in the synagogue. Yeah. And what happens is when they sit on that seat, the only thing they're allowed to do, then man not allowed to add anything or discuss anything. All yeah. they can do is read the sure. law. Yeah. So when Jesus says, observe and do it because mm. there's nothing bad in it. Mm. I mean, it's not, we're not bound by the law, mm. but observe it. Yeah. But do not do because after they stand up out of their seat, yeah. they take that to make themselves righteous sure. and they condemn the people mm. and put burdens on them. Yeah. Do not do well what that. they so I was like, okay, that is, that is interesting. But yeah. verse 8, Be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, mm. even Christ, sure. and all you, breth all you are brethren. Yeah. So we are brothers. Yeah, we are brothers. brothers in Christ. Yeah. You are my brother. You yeah. are my sister. That is ah, that's such, a, such a joy. Mm. And call no man your father. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Upon earth. <laughs> For one is your father, which is in heaven. Yes. Neither be you called masters, for one is your master, master. even Christ. Mm. But he that is greatest among you mm. shall be your servant. Mm. And who shall ever exalt him shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall mm. be exalted. Those yes. that are first shall be last. Mm. The kingdom works in different principles. And uh, we, um, today in our reading, we were in Matthew 25. Yeah. And just seeing the different dimensions of the kingdom, mm. um, it's to be profitable. It's not to be first. Yeah. It's not to be last. It mm. doesn't even matter if you're in the middle. Yes. There is no place in the kingdom mm. in, in that sense. The yeah. only thing is, once you enter in, it's a different ballgame. Yes. 
and it is time for the kingdom to be made manifest Amen. right here. Amen. I've Amen. I've been blessed by this, and I trust that you will be blessed. Go watch the service. Yes, I think it was amazing. Yeah, it was uh, very, very, very good. And uh, other things that's happening here. Yeah? God is good. Uh, I've introduced the business side of things to you uh, two weekends back. So what has happened here is during the week we do work in order to finance the kingdom. So we've started a, actually started the company a while back, yeah. but now I'm running it as I had the vision in the first place in order to have business to take care of the church. And um, I've been seeing people started giving less and less into the work of God. And yeah. that, that is the wrong mindset to have yeah. because what the house of God does with the seed that you give mm. it's not for you to think what are they doing because yeah. God gives people certain visions to yeah. do certain things yes. but for us I mean I'm I'm the leader of this house I'm the pastor of this house but I'm invested if yes. I have a chance to sow mm. I know the principles of God works in this way that yes. I need to sow into the work of God so yes. my finances I put into this house because yes. this is where my heart is mm. this is where my this is where my treasure is <laughs> And uh, on the business side of things, uh, we started the business and I've taken uh, a huge load off of the church with that. In order for the church to be the church, we want to do outreaches, we want to reach out to our community, we want to identify certain households and start taking care of them on a permanent basis. Yes. Not just go out in charity. We've mm -hmm. done that over and over. It, yeah. it feels like you, uh, you've you done nothing. Yes. Uh, even Even though if we've located or chosen 30 houses to take care of mm. it's not even a drop in the bucket but we're doing something yes it, it is important for us to do something so it is important for you to do something yeah. but when you give your seed to the house of god we are able to do those things which god tells us to do yes so i want to encourage you in this do not neglect in the giving when it comes time to give do not neglect in that giving because yes. you need to have seed in the ground mm. i love what um, 1 corinthians 9 it says god gives seed to the sower yes. and bread to the eater and for so long people have been eating seed mm. they don't eat bread it's like they receive seed but they don't mm. give it to where it needs to Easy. be yeah and nothing comes from it because if you eat your seed it's gone, <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> bread is there for eating yes. seed is there for giving so with that i just just refresh your mind again over everything that mm. the house of god is there for a purpose mm. uh it's proverbs 3 verse 7 it says Bring, bring all your tithes and the mm. first fruits of all your income to the house of God. Yes. And so shall you be blessed and your yes. barns will be filled and your yes. vats will overflow. Yes. So if you want that blessing over your life and uh, if you have neglected that giving and you're wondering what's happening in my life, mm. just, just make that decision again to mm. give to God which belongs to God. Yes. Give him a first of everything that you have mm. and don't give everything. I mean, if God tells you to give everything, give it. Yes. Because God also works with your heart. But mm. always make sure that you give the first fruit mm. of all your income to God. Mm. And He will take care of your house. Yes. So on the business side of things, why I have a business in the church is because I believe in the kingdom business. Mm -hmm. uh, we see it in the, in the Jews, the Muslims, all of them. They, <laughs> they have a tight circle. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they all work together. It's like <laughs> a mafia going on. Uh, and the Christians, what do we do? Yo. We go to them for business. Yeah. I believe that has to change. I believe yes. the kingdom has a business as well. I mean, God believes in accounting. Why would he create a whole book? Yeah. I mean, if he had the spirit, the spirit knows everything. Mm -hmm. And then he could talk to us all the time. But yes. no, he saw it important to write it down. Yes. So there is structure in it. Yes. There is accounting that needs to take place. And yes. go through this book. You will learn about yes. finances. <laughs> sure, sure. You will learn how to take care of your finances. Mm -hmm. So kingdom business. On that note, what we do in this kingdom business is we do media, we mm. do social media, we do videos, we do broadcasting, we do photos. Yes. Anything that you want to do in video and marketing, we can do that for you. It doesn't matter where you are. Uh, if you are sitting in Nigeria and you want a website, we can do that for yes. you. So that's what we do. So contact us and see where we can help you. Let's mm. keep the kingdom business in, in the kingdom. kingdom. <laughs> Amen. So yes <laughs> the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just yeah, yeah. so we need to go get those things as well and um yeah that's what i want to share with you today looking forward to spending time with you again just be blessed in this day arthur you want to bless them yes yes uh quick prayer yes <laughs> thank Amen. you jesus thank you mm. for this wonderful friday thank, thank you father, father for the weekend coming up and thank you lord that you lead us yes lord. in the right the right way you lead us in the paths of righteousness 
and thank you father we will fear no evil for you are with us Amen. so father thank you we stand on your word we stand in the kingdom of god for you say we are seated in heavenly places yes, with christ thank so you for father, kingdom, father yeah we're gonna start operating in the kingdom or we're gonna continue operating in the kingdom and because we have the keys but you take lead mm. in everything you take lead let, thank you father let us our prayer be if you will if you will it let it be so thank you lord and uh we just bless everybody who's watching this uh let them be blessed yes, abundantly lord. bless them father in jesus name amen. Amen. amen amen be blessed remember to tune in on sunday and if mm. you're in the area come visit i'm going to yeah. be in kimberley with bruce molner i'm looking mm. forward to that yes. so if you are in the area if you're in the kimberley area um i'll be ministering there at the word church with bruce and i believe i have a word for them Mm. It's going to be amazing. I know Kimberly is a bit colder than what it is here, <laughs> so wow. Yeah. But uh, see you guys there. And for the guys coming to the house, Leon is going to share the word with you. And uh, he also he shared a bit about the weather. Is he going to share? So you're going to be blessed. Amen. So see you then and also see you next week. Just be blessed. Amen. Yeah. How long was that? I haven't even checked. Half an hour. Almost. Almost. 26. Yeah. Shucks. I need to speak less. No, it's, uh, I mean, you said 20 minutes. <laughs> 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 Extra six. Yeah, you, you kind of dragged you there. The thought of means an abundance or access or something. Thanks, Conrad. Ah, <laughs> plethora. I have been educated. The plethora <laughs> of the gospel, the abundance of the gospel. <laughs> nice. <laughs> plethora of my bands. Okay, so um, maybe is the begin, come on, scratch the begin, any 